In other news, the county government of Busia has launched the exercise of desilting rivers that are prone to flooding due to water overflow in an aim to reduce perennial flooding in the region. Busia Governor Dr. Paul Otuoma noted that there was need to engage the national government in a concerted effort to also rehabilitate dismantled infrastructure. Residents of Budalangi are set to benefit from an exercise launched by the county government of desilting rivers. This comes after the Oxbow Lake Kanyaboli burst the dike and discharged water downstream that submerged over 20,000 acres of crops, damaging infrastructure and affecting close to 30,000 households. Speaking during the launch of the desilting exercise, Busia Governor Dr. Paul Otoma stated they shall engage the national government to dispatch the National Youth Service to Budalangi to rehabilitate the destroyed infrastructure. Iko mabarabara ziliaribika, chakuna iliaribika, yote iko chini ya maji. Na ndio tulikuwa tumesema, tugetaka wale vijana wa NYS, wale tulikuwa tumeneta, Wakitoka kule kanyaboli, tuwanete hapa budalangi. Tuwanze kufanya repair. Kwa sababu, tunataka iyo bank ya kanyaboli itengenezo vizuri. Kwa sababu iyo iliweko kule ni temporary, vwe ikinyesha tena, iyo maji itakuja pandei. The county officials affirmed the commitment to allocate sufficient funds under emergency and disaster department to dredge all the rivers in budalangi. Lakini rivayana atuwezi weka bait. Sasa maji kikuja kazi yake ni kuingia tufu wa haa, kina paadi. So wakibisit kuwa fungue, hii maji yote itatoka hapa itakinde ikienda wapi, kwa lake. We are going to allocate further resources to desilt all the rivers in the tributary of Yala and Goye to make sure that this land is reclaimed and for purposes of food production. Officials have however lamented the delayed implementation of Loa and Zoya irrigation project that would mitigate the perennial floods in Budalangi.